I'm Megan Blunk, a 2016 Paralympic gold medalist in wheelchair basketball and a Team CAF athlete since 2009 when they helped me to get my first basketball wheelchair. And I'm going to show you one of my workouts that I do, which is push-ups. You do push-ups a lot in wheelchair basketball, believe it or not. When you get flipped or you, know, you, you just end up on the ground, you need to be able to get back up. And you know, the stronger you get, the less you're going to have to rely on your teammates to help you get up, and the faster we can get you back on defense with us um, or back in the play. So pretend like you just got flipped over and you have to get up off the ground. So the faster you can do that, the better. And it took me a long time to be able to do it. And don't get discouraged because for the longest time I couldn't get up off the ground. And it actually didn't even have to do with me or my ability. It had to do with my chair that didn't fit me. So it makes it harder. So also keep that in mind because sometimes it's not you. And it's good to be aware of that so you don't let it frustrate you. And sometimes, you know, you can't always get up on your own and you need a teammate to help you, especially like lower class players but we can always work to get stronger. There's a couple different uh, push-ups that you can do. You can have your hands close together and you know, do the same, do 12 to 15 or whatever feels right. Um, you can go further apart, further apart. I think it's a little bit easier, but you can go in, then out, then in, or forwards, backwards. New shoulder taps. If you want to make it harder, you can do it on a ball. You can do one ball or two balls. So one ball, you want to put your hands kind of closer together so that you can stabilize. If you need more balance, you can spread your legs apart as you do it. But if you want to make it a little harder, put your legs closer together. You can also do it with two balls. You got to really balance your arms and you know you got to stay calm and composed as you're doing it because you don't want to sprain your wrists or anything. Make it so it's like directly under you. That'll make it harder. If you put your legs up on something, you can do it like that too. Sometimes my, my feet like get twisted up under me since they're paralyzed and it kind of hurts. So I like to sometimes have them up over like a pillow or a block like this. And that's also just a different angle. What makes you an extra valuable player is when you're able to do more on your own, like getting up off the ground. The stronger you get and the faster you get up off the ground, the better it's going to be for the whole team. And so I hope that this can help you get up faster.